Hi. Now, when you open a formula book or set of tables, quite often you're going to see a list of differentials of common functions. And the aim of this tutorial is just to introduce you to some of these common functions and how we can use them to show you the limitations of them. Like for instance, if you have y equals e to the power x, an exponential function, it can be shown that dy dx turns out to be e to the x. And if you have y equals the natural log, y equals natural log of x, dy dx is 1 over x. And for trigonometric functions, y equals sine x, y equals cos x, y equals tan x, it can be shown that dy dx for sine x is cos x, and dy dx is equal to minus sine x when you've got y equals cos x. And if y equals tan x, dy dx is sec squared x. But you've got to realize the limitations that these formulae have. They only work off of a single value here, x. You'll notice we've got the natural log of just x or in the trigonometric functions, sine of just x, cos of just x, tan of just x. What we can't do at the moment is take something like this, y equals sine x, and say, suppose we have y equals the sine of, say, 3x. We can't say that dy dx equals cos of 3x. It doesn't work like that. This is totally wrong. What we're going to need to do later on is for functions like this, where we haven't just got x, where we've got a composite function, as we say, we're going to need to use the chain rule, which follows later. So if I had, say, y equals the natural log of, say, 4x plus 3, rather than just say x, dy dx does not equal 1 over 4x plus 3. It's more complicated than that. We need to use, as I said earlier, the chain rule to do things like this. All that we can do, based on these tables, okay, is single values. So, for instance, if I had p equals e to the power q, then from this it would follow that dp by dq equaled e to the q. And if I had a number in front of these functions, like say a 3, that doesn't affect the result here. It becomes 3 times the differential of the e to the q. Let's get rid of these wrong answers. Now if I had say s equaled 4 times the natural log of t, I could use this idea because I've got a single letter here. We would therefore have that ds by dt would equal 4 times the differential of what the natural log of this single letter here is, natural log of t. Well, we can see that it would be 1 over t, so it would be 4 times 1 over t. And that would give us 4 over t. And just one more example on using the trig functions. So if I had, say, r equaled 3 sine of, say, x rather than x plus 3 or anything like that, just a single letter here, then by this formula, this result here, we can see that dr by dx would equal 3 times the differential of what sine x is, which would be cos x. If that said sine t, it would be dr by dt equals 3 cos t, and so on. So I hope that's given you some idea how you can use these results. But as I said earlier, you've got to be careful. 
you can only use them at this kind of level if you've got one letter here. When we get a composite function, when it becomes more involved than just say x, then we're going to have to use the chain rule, which I'll be showing you later. Okay.